everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Retro Gamers Podcast, episode number 289. Larry here. And Anthony here. And what's going on? How are you? Uh, I'm doing just fine. I am uh, three hours behind you. Yes, you are. So I'm in the future. Yeah, give me the lot of numbers. <laughs> Two, four, and seven. <laughs> that doesn't work. Good luck. So, uh, all right. So we got, you know, we're going to not take up anyone's time. We're going to kind of get right into this. We're going to talk about. Um, it's a podcast. Some... We're supposed to take up people's time. Oh, trust me. I, I, I would love to. But in all honesty, we're recording this only hours before it should be dropping. So <laughs> I was just going to say, what do you what do you have better things to do right now? Yeah. Well, yes, we're all. Um, oh, geez. But... <laughs> so, so, so the answer to the question is no. <laughs> How dare you? So, um, okay, but for obvious reasons. before actually we get into that, I do want to give just a quick update on my um, obsession with uh, Metroidvania games. Mm-hmm. Um, I am now officially moved on to Areola of Sorrow, A- Castlevania. Oh, Aria of Sorrow, yeah. Yep. Uh, because um, with... with, or is, with it, or is it Areola because you keep going in circles when you play the game? Oh, don't even... So, Harmony and Dissonance, like, okay, so I'm, like, near the end. I'm already, like, eight hours into the game, three of which have been, yes, just circling around, circling around, circling around, when I realized that there was one thing that, like, I did. See, Harmony and Dissonance, you do a lot of things in one part of the castle that affect another part of the castle, Uh, but you also tend to forget that stuff like that happens. And I kept coming up to these, these gold barricades i'm like how do i get through them totally forgetting like four hours earlier i did one of these things where i I rotated something to get access to a whip which crushes those barriers so for four hours i was literally doing nothing in the game once i found that whip that particular crushing whip oh Mm -hmm. man floodgates opened and i was moving on um as i said it took you three hours to do that because I just I forgot I just kept circling through but not hitting that one little room yep. in the game. So be that as it may, I stumble upon the ending to the game. I beat the game. I get a the end story. Nice. I am pretty sure it's not like the full ending. But here's the thing, and I've said it before. I'm not looking for the best. I just want an ending. An ending. Yeah. But I did get this ending. But unlike when I beat Circle of the Moon, and again, this is on the Castle, uh, the Castlevania Advance Collection, which is available on everything. After I beat Circle of the Moon, um, on the main menu screen where you can select which game you want to play, mm-hmm. there's a little like crown icon in the bottom right of the screen, which okay. lit up after I beat it. So I'm assuming it just means you beat the game. I'm like, right. okay, cool. So I'll move on. So when I did this with uh, Harmony Dissonance, I, I got to the end, literally, chapter uh, 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 credits, the yeah. end, but the little icon didn't pop up. Oh, so uh-oh. I'm like, hmm. Now I'm thinking maybe it's kind of like what happened in Bloodstained. Because you can beat, you can get to the final boss in Bloodstained, but it's not the final battle. And right. you'll still get like a the end, or actually it gives you a game over. So now I'm, wand- now I'm wandering again the castle and in this one it's again you know the castle you're you 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 go through it twice okay the castle think of it as like light and dark and i don't know what to do i absolutely have no idea what to do next and i went through it i thought i did what i needed to do went back to the battle beat it again got the same the end with the Mm -hmm. same credits and still do not have the crown icon so At you which point get, you didn't get a cutscene or anything? Got, no, no, yeah. no. I got a cutscene. I got oh, a little okay. bit of a cutscene. Okay. You know, you, you save the girl. The the, the the castle disappears. Same cutscene both times. Right. Same ending. But I'm still not getting the crown, and I and I can see why because I feel like I ha- whatever I'm doing, I'm in the we'll call it the light castle. Yeah. I'm sure I have to do it in the dark castle. Okay. And. But do you and this, a, are you sure you get a crown every for every game you beat? Well, well, the the, the little icons there. So I'm just assuming it just means hey, you beat this game. Okay, okay. it's just a visual. Giving, they're not giving you credit for completion. Then. That's what you're no, saying. that's what I'm getting at. Correct. Right. So when I did it the second time and I got the same ending, I didn't get the little icon. Mm-hmm. I said, "Go screw yourself." 
I'm moving on. So I've I've officially moved on to Aria of Sorrow, and um, actually happy for because uh, Aria of Sorrow is actually I think a better game than Harmony of Dissonance. Okay. Well, just be content with the fact that you beat the game and you got you got an ending. I got an ending, but it's not an ending enough. So I will go back to Harmony uh, at some point. I will. Okay. But By the time you go back to it, though, you will have forgotten everything, and you'll be like, "A hundred percent." Oh yeah, because and then you'll start over. Because that's when next I'm I'm going for Symphony of the Night next. Yeah. I'm going to redo Symphony? that game. Oh, you've done you've beaten it before though. Well, no, I've got oh. like 198 percent, but I never officially beat it. Oh wow, okay. And pff, th- that save is long gone. Uh, so I'm going to start a great ending. A hundred percent. I'm debating whether I should play it on the Xbox 360 or the original PlayStation. Ooh, interesting choice. And and I don't really the only difference I think is just a slight graphical upgrade. But be that as it may, I might go with just original PlayStation. Okay. Um, that's going to be next. But right now, Area Sorrow. Uh, I'm going through and I'm enjoying it. Mm-hmm. And again, I highly recommend this collection. It's on everything, and all three games. I mean, it also comes with Drac uh, uh, Dracula RX from Super Nintendo. Mm-hmm. Um, but all three games are phenomenal, so uh, definitely recommend. That's where I'm at right now. So Very I've moved cool. on. So we say like one and a half games have been beaten. <laughs> all right. Well, fair enough. So that's right. Um, uh, not not too much in the retro gaming category, but uh, I did complete South Park: uh, The Fractured Butthole. Oh, you did? <laughs> How was that? Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Loved the game. Uh, story was great. Mm-hmm. Um. And uh, after I beat it, I went back and cleaned up the stuff that I didn't do because, like, they okay. give you, they give you, um, you have like missions. missions, yeah, yeah, because it's like an RPG. It has side yeah. missions. So I went back and did all the side missions. Uh, one of one of which, spoiler alert, is <laughs> you have to go to battle with Morgan Freeman, <laughs> and you have to wow. Beat him. <laughs> it okay, awesome. it was awesome. It was awesome. Um, keeps hitting you with a visa. Uh, oh no, he he was he was he was a, he was a challenge. I'll tell you. That. Um, but uh, yeah, no game was great. I was actually sad that I completed it. Mm. Um, but then there's um, they have DLC, so they have DLC missions. Oh, there do were, they really? There were three different DLC packs that were released. That. Yeah, there was a season pass. Okay, that had three different DLC. So I'm probably going to go back and get those because I'm just enjoying the game. There you go. Um, That's what it's all just about. Wandering around South Park, just beating up people <laughs> as as a superhero. Morgan Freeman, I don't think not the oddest villain in a video game. Uh, probably not. And you I, know what? That sounds like a topic for another it, it would because I got one right on right off the top of my head mm. that I think beats that. I think so we'll strange. Talk- uh, that sounds like next week. Strange, strangest villains in video. Games. I think so. I think so. Mm. So. Uh, all right, so but that's very cool because I, I really want to play South Park because I've been I've been watching the movies, you know, the new ones on Paramount Plus. The streaming mm-hmm. wars have been phenomenal. I saw the and, first one; I haven't watched the second one. Yeah, it's so I, I just love how they can just take a topic and and really talk about it, mm-hmm. but mask it as something else. Yes. It is wild how they can do that. No, they're, they're, so, they're great at that. They're masters at that. Um, and of course, their twenty fifth anniversary concerts coming, and they're actually doing something across the country with different like. Um, uh, like a like a one day uh, South Park touring museum or something like that. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, there, uh, over your oh, oh, not too far from me, and I don't know if it's still there. I really hope it is because I wanted to do it. There was a South Park escape room. Oh my god, that that would I know. Be amazing. I got to look it up. If it's still there, I should really like hurry over. And you just hear Cartman mocking you the entire time. That would be awesome. So uh, <laughs> I actually have to I have to check into that and go do it before it goes away. Awesome. Yeah. So, all right, very cool, very cool. So, uh, check the, both those games out. Uh, yeah. Both highly recommended from your retro gamers. Yes. So, but what we're going to talk about is a rumor that has come to fruition. And um, again, I thought we were done with these minis, but uh, at we should. Well, let's rephrase that. We should be done with these minis at this point. I we sh- should be. You're right because this is the first time we're getting a sequel. Uh, mm-hmm. To a mini, which yeah, you're right. It's kind of kind of weird, but we t- we talked about it a couple weeks ago. The Mega Drive Mini Two, which mm-hmm. was coming out in Japan, 
Uh, but at the time, there was no release or no mention of a North American version. Well, lo right. and behold, now there is. Yep. Surprise, surprise. Sega wants to make more money. <laughs> so now there will be a North American version. And of course, there will be differences in games mm -hmm. uh, that we will talk about. Uh, but right now, basically, we just kind of want to run through. And I want to start with the, uh, of course, with North American. But they did announce some new ones on the on the. Uh, Japanese, Japanese version, version. Mm -hmm. and I feel like for the first time because as we've done these minis as we've gone through them mm -hmm. there have been like maybe two or three different games difference yeah. between the North American version and the uh the Japanese version I feel like this one though and and you pointed it out before we started recording you know not uh, more games have been in, been announced for the Japanese version than the North American version but still I I kind of feel like there's going to be a drastic difference between these two versions, uh, just in the type of games. Yeah, well, but, I think it depends because, again, like you just said, they haven't announced mm -hmm. all of the American ones and there are more Japanese ones listed. It's it's entirely possible that, that those will wind up on the North American version. Maybe. Totally, totally. So through the magic mm -hmm. of modern technology, Ooh, we have modern ladies technology. and gentlemen, we're going to show you here the North American, the uh, first released announcements. No. Mm -hmm. The first announced releases for the go. North American version of the hey, Genesis Mini 2. Ba, ba, ba. Aha. And it is quite a Oh, that's those two graphics just pop up. Those those are new. Um, mm -hmm. so kind of let's go through it real quick. Um and and oh boy, it, it's it's a hell of a lineup. Sonic C D. Yep, now they're dipping into the uh, Sega C D collection, which is great. Yep. I mean, we got a lot of good, a lot of good Sega CD games. Uh, Shining Force CD, which yep. is awesome. Silphied, which is a great shoot 'em up. Which, by the way, whenever I see the title for that one, I always read it as Slipheed. Yeah, I, no, I, you're right. It's, it's like I'm, I'm <laughs> dyslexic with that title. <laughs> now, of course, I'm going to try and read this. I think, Ant, the list that's on the website is in order of these photos. Yeah, this is a Mansion of Hidden Souls. I don't remember this one. I do. I actually have it. Oh, you do. I what do. kind of game was it? Uh, I don't know. I never played it. It was one Not of those. Right. Things, it was one of those things where I was collecting, and yeah, I saw it in the store, and I'm like, oh, it's a horror-based game. I I'm gonna buy it. So. <laughs> uh, up next, which it looks like we're getting some Japanese versions, mm -hmm. will be on here. Yep. Uh, was that Night Striker? Night Striker. Night Striker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks like a racing game. Not a racing game, but like a car game of some sort. Maybe. Yeah, it's a car. It's a car-based game. Uh, the Ninja Warriors, which is probably going to be more based on the arcade version, which is an awesome game. Yes. The Night Warriors, awesome game. Yep. Uh, and then let's pick up some speed here. For Genesis, Afterburner 2. Excellent. Outrun, classic. Mm -hmm. Outrunners, which you don't see as often. Yeah. Uh, virtual Racing. Super Hang On, which I'm always hit or miss about. I like Super Hang On. Uh, Sonic 3D Blast. That was an interesting one. Interesting choice. Uh, a game that I think is going to be really cool. Shining in the Darkness. Yes, a uh, first-person dungeon crawler. A very dungeon. And yeah, the exactly. precursor to Shining Force. It really was. Uh, Vector Man 2. A game that I've never played, but I heard is actually really good. The Ooze. Yeah, same. Same. Yeah. I've heard nothing but good things about that. It was un unlockable on one of the Genesis collections. Yep. I want to say on the PS3 version, but... Uh, Bonanza Brothers. Mm -hmm. Coming from Japan, Alien Soldier. Uh, Rainbow Islands Extra. Yep. And if you're familiar with that, Rainbow Islands is basically Adventure Islands. Yes. Uh, Splatterhouse 2. Very excited about that. I love the Splatterhouse series. <laughs> Rolling Thunder 2. Great Excellent. arcade game. Uh, Lightning Force, another Four. shoot 'em up that's beautiful. Also known as Thunder Force 4. Yes. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, and then two bonuses. Uh, bu so they did this on the first Genesis, where we got mm -hmm. a, two unreleased games for the Genesis. Um, for that was Tetris and Darius. Yeah. Here, we're getting the console version, Genesis console version of Fantasy Zone, yep. never released before. And a game that I'm already interested about, Star Mobile. Uh, I don't know. And I have no idea what that's all about, but it's a bonus game. Oh, okay. I was going to say, no. you, do you know what it's about? That's why you're excited. No, I don't. I don't. It's just, you know, because it's a bonus game. I'm curious what it, what it is. 
I see. So, well, you know what? I'm going to use um, the power of the internet. <laughs> so we got what? 20? Exactly what it is. While Anthony is looking that up, 23 games so far announced for it, the Genesis. Star Mobile is a new game. Ooh. New game. A new game. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's cool. New game called Star Mobile. That's, uh, then, so well, that's where reason, we are. There's a reason why we don't know it. <laughs> cool. Uh, what are your thoughts on this lineup so far for Genesis Mini 2? Uh, I think it's pretty solid. Um, you know, you've got you've got your Sonics in there, and Sonic CD has arguably arguably been um, one of the greatest Sonic games ever made. Uh, over under, will we get the original Sonic Boom song on there? Ooh, I'm gonna now, say I'm gonna say yes. Here's the thing: it is in Sonic Origins. Yeah, so it, if if it's in Sonic Origins, it'll, I think it'll be on the video. Yeah, I hope so. So too. we'll get that. Um, Shining Force CD again, uh, just another another um, another RPG in the Shining Force uh, series, mm-hmm. which is outstanding. We've it's talked cool. about we've talked about that. A number My of favorite times. series of all time. Yep, uh, you know, and then obviously Shining in the Darkness, which was the first game in the Shining Force mm-hmm. series. Mm-hmm. Uh, but just yeah, I mean, it's got a it, you know what it is? It's got a really good mix. You got RPG, you've got side scroller, you got shooter, you got shoot 'em ups, you've got arcade games, you've got mm-hmm. a couple of new games. Um, the only thing missing is a, a really good puzzler. Puzzler and maybe a sports game. And I mean, a, virtual racing, you can say yeah, that's sports. You know, but... Afterburner is a great game too. Like I remember playing the Afterburner. Yeah. Um, um and then you got a couple of good horror ones with Splatterhouse and Mansion of Hidden Souls. Yeah, right. Um, so like I feel like it's a really good mix. Um What's funny is that I know it's a I know it's a Mega Drive Mini or a Genesis Mini, but I wish they would put some stuff in from the original um, Master System. Master System. Yeah, well, I honestly, to be honest, I think the Master System deserve it would deserve its own system alone. I know what you're talking about, and yeah. it would be awesome. Yeah, but it definitely deserves its own. Um, you know, when these minis, when Nintendo first put out the Nintendo Classic, the original mm-hmm. Nintendo Classic, it was meant it wasn't meant for the hardcore gamer. No. Or the hardcore collector. It was just a meant. It was totally meant for the casual. Say, hey, I remember these games. Let me just yeah. pick this up. And of course, that completely did not go in that direction. So, like gangbusters, it did. And and hardcore collectors and gamers ended up really flocking to these yeah. minis. Um, now that was before, because I, I to get into kind of which one at this point might be the best one. Mm-hmm. Um, let's talk about now the Japanese version yeah uh the mega drive mini 2 which has a lot more games now yeah. both will have over 50 games yes. so uh and for the mega drive i'm just gonna blow through i don't have i don't have a photo of it well i was I'm gonna say gonna... i was I, I was i have the i have the list oh i have the list too i was saying i don't have the photos to put up on the screen uh, and i was gonna say we can just go through the ones that are different like because i think they have all of the ones that are on the north american version it looks like they do kind of sort of so yeah. They, I mean, I'm just gonna literally, I'm just gonna run through it real fast. Run through it. So, Bonanza Brothers, mm-hmm. Fantasy Zone, Magical Totoro Kun, Mansion of the Hidden Souls, Popful Mail, which is a game that goes for over $1,500 right now. Yes. Original. Then, yep. Which is a very good one to add here. Absolutely. Shining Force CD, Shining in the Darkness, Sylphid, Sonic CD, Thunder Force 4, Virtua Racing, Night Striker. Um, that's right, Night Striker, yeah. Yep. Starblade, The Ninja Warriors, Outrun, Afterburner 2, Splatterhouse 2, Nadia, The Secret of Blue Water, uh, Mega Panel, Puzzle in Action, Ichidon R, I'm mispronouncing that, Columns 3, Star Mobile, Alien Soldier, and those are just the ones that were announced previously. Here are the new ones that yep. just were announced. And this one is the game changer, in my opinion. Ah. Final Fight CD. Yes. Great game. Probably the best version of Final Fight you can find Mm -hmm. that's not the arcade. Yep. Music was phenomenal. Um, Lunar, the Silver Star. Lunar, Eternal Blue. Wonder Mega Collection. Tatsunjin. Uh, Super Street Fighter 2, the new Challengers. Fatal Fury 2. Hari Manada. Manja Dojo. And Splatter, or excuse me, Spatter, Mr. Tricycle. Obviously, a lot Genesis, uh, uh, Japanese related gaming yes. on those, um, but Final Fight CD, Super Street Fighter Two, and again, we're not done on our end, but still, um, I'm just trying to think of ones that look Japanese, possibly exclusive. Pop Full Mail, I mean, 
that's what I'm saying. The Genesis right now, with the Japanese side of it, it might... I've bought the Japanese versions of some of these collections just to yep. own it. And I shouldn't have, but I did. Uh, um, and I'm debating whether or not to reorder this one, but I'm going to hold off on it. I'll do, the, I'll do the North American version. I'll stick with it. But still, these lineups are phenomenal for both... Yep. Uh, both uh, oh, no, regions. They're great, and I think most of the games on the Japan uh, on the Japanese one will wind up on the North American one. Like I think maybe like um, you know like Magical Terrorutukan. Well, yeah, but I think you'll see Popful Mail show up. I think you'll see like anything any of these games that had a North American release. I think you'll see. Hopefully, um, and that's, honestly, that's my guess. If Popful Mail doesn't, I might still buy a Mega Drive Mini too, because even if even at the outrageous prices that it could go up to, yeah. still cheaper than getting the original version Very of Popful Mail. So Very true. All right. So with this being said, and yes, limited, limited right now list of games. Sure. Um right now, like do do you think the Genesis two is gonna be competition for probably, in my opinion, uh the best mini of them all? has been the turbo graphics mini i think so yeah do you think you think you can it can hold so. up to it yeah okay. I, I, at least for the ones that i own i like the mm -hmm. turbo graphics mini the best mm -hmm. yes all right very but cool but can can them oh, okay i didn't answer your question uh can the mega drive 2 hold up to it mm, i'm not sure and the reason why i say that is because i do feel like these minis have kind of run their course so okay. i don't know i don't know how much interest there is going to be in it I think we're. I think we may be hitting mini fatigue. You know, uh, agreed. Especially like like for those with the Switch who have the Genesis collection on the Switch. Yep. Some well, actually not a lot. Some of these games really actually aren't available on there. So right. let me stop talking about that now. But all right. So just from a collection for me, you know, I have I have Sonic CD, Shining Force CD, Silphied. Um, I'm pretty sure I've outrun and a couple of other of these games. So now it's becoming. Is it even worth it at this point? Right. And I ran into that issue with something else. I forgot what it was. It was something else I was looking to buy. Oh, like we talked about last week with some of the Evercade collections. Yes. Like I have enough of the games on the collections to not really warrant buying that particular cartridge. Right. But um, nevertheless, you know, it's sometimes it's part of the collector in me. Um, but so like, do you own, and I'm just, let's just stick with the North American version. Do you own a lot of these games by chance? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, actually. There you I go. only own the, I only own like uh, maybe a handful of them. Okay, but um, but at the same time, do I have them in other? Like, I may have them in other collections. Like, I mm -hmm. don't know what's on the, the Genesis collection, but I know I have that on like my uh, Xbox. Oh, on the my, one that's on come out for everything. Yeah, yeah, the one that came out for like every system. Like, I have yeah. that one, and I know some of those games are on there. Yeah. I know I have the original. Like, I have the original Sonic CD. I mm -hmm. think I, I think I have Silk Feet. I don't know. I have. I know I have Mansion of Hidden Souls. Um, so it really becomes a. It, it just becomes a crap. And I, and again, like for the at least for the Sega CD games now, I have them on my Poly Mega. That's true. That's true. So it just comes down to it's like I can see myself getting this. I can see myself hooking it up. Being like, okay, this is cool, and then it's just gonna go back here with the rest of them, because <laughs> all of these boxes up top, they have all the minis in them. I do not have any minis hooked up. Yeah, I did break out my minis recently, and I am looking to hook them up. Yeah, but I don't know where. Well, and that's the thing. It's like, like I don't want to. I don't want to hook them up to my TV. I already have like my Poly Mega. I have my Retro Freak on there. Mm -hmm. My PS Five. I could hook them up here at my. I have like a TV over here that mm -hmm. I planned on using for live streaming, and it's not. You know, and I know live stream. So, um, but I can like whenever I want to play them, I can easily just hook them up to these. Yeah. So, but when like I don't get an itch to pull out a mini to play them because most of the time the games I want to play I have them somewhere else. True. Okay. Actually, I think the only mini I actually have hooked up is Turbo Graphics. That's the only one. Turbo Graphics I had hooked up for the longest, and yeah. I, because I did not have, I, I did not, and I still do not have a Turbo Graphics sixteen. Well, you can get the adapter for the Polymega. I can. 
and uh, that's on my list. It's that <laughs> like I want that, and I want the uh, N sixty four adapter. When it comes oh out. yes, the ultra adapter, whatever they're calling yes. it. Um, so now with this Genesis, so when you go to there was a link. Uh, I saw it, and you saw it, and we read off of Nintendo Life the list. Yes, uh, but of course everyone's been re- reporting about it. But um, you know there was a link to the official Sega website to the official Genesis Mini website. Yeah, and there's a button on there that says exclusively sold through Amazon. Right. Which is very weird. It would be the first mini, I think, exclusively sold through right. one company. Yep. So you click on it, and here, I'll, I'll bring this up again. Um, and it brings you to this site to sell, uh, to buy the, the, the mini. So I clicked on it, and I ordered it. So I'm like, oh, sweet. Right? Right here. Yeah. So Genesis mini. So I'm looking at it. I'm like, cool. $103. That's Actually, it was a little higher. It was like 103 something. Yeah, that seems high, and that I also was, seems high for a mini. Exactly. That's when I saw that. I'm like, that's just an odd number. Yeah. Like, forget the 103 or 102. That the change is odd. Yeah. And I'm scrolling through it. I'm looking through. It is what it is. You know, it's 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 thing. But then I looked into it a little bit further. For uh-huh. sales in North America, that's weird, right? Uh, and then I go over here. Yeah. I see ships from Amazon Japan. So that's odd. Why only shipping from Japan? And there's a twenty-two dollar delivery fee. Yeah, I think what happened. I think what it is, um, they don't. I, they don't have the North America. Like they just announced the North American one not mm-hmm. too long ago. So I just don't think they have it up on their site yet. No, you're exactly. That's exactly. So everyone's going. Oh, it's you know, it's for sale, which technically it kind of is, but. Mm-hmm. Again, this, uh, it's going to be a situation where I don't want people to get stuck overpaying, even though this would be more of an error as opposed to Amazon actually gouging people. Right. Because y- y- when it comes out, it's got to be, I can't imagine it being more than $80. Right. All right, maybe 90 Maybe. Mm-hmm. I, don't ask me why, but I feel like. Well, inflation. Right. So not only that, it's not going to ship from Amazon, Amazon Japan. It'll ship from Amazon North America. Correct. And most likely, it will be free shipping. Yes. So that's why when everyone's like, you know, oh, it's up for sale now, it technically is. Even though I thought this was maybe going to be the the Japanese version, like it was just completely put up wrong. Mm-hmm. But bottom line, you know, folks, I don't know if this link is going to update itself eventually and then be the proper Genesis Mini 2. But for now, and I've already told some, some of my friends who like, oh, I got this on pre-order. I'm like, trust me, hold off on it. It's, it's not the right one. So we'll tell you, we'll put it up on our social media when it does go on sale, like the proper shipping for North America. Exactly. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So you don't have to spend $130 or something. Yeah. So, but bottom line, Genesis Mini 2 coming out. It's a heck of a lineup. Um, and we'll, you know, as newer games are announced, we'll announce them as well. But it's just cool kind of look forward to it. Um, and for those who don't have a Genesis, again, it's just cool to pick up and collect. Yeah, exactly. If you if you own none of these games, it'll be worth oh. the, it'll be worth the purchase price if you oh, want right. to play them. Totally. So, yeah. So, and that's basically about it, at least on my end uh, for stuff I was ready to talk about. Mm-hmm. Well, let me stop sharing this. Yeah. So, you should definitely stop sharing that. Um, well, and you know, I could jump into some news, but I think uh, we wanted to keep this short. And again, we already know next week we're going to be very heavy on news because, as we know, Comic Con. It's coming up, right? Week. I think it's this week. Yeah, it's this, it's this coming weekend. So yep. next week will be our uh, our Comic Con recap. Yep, we'll talk about San Diego Comic Con. Mm-hmm. And speaking of cons, remember, folks, August twelfth, thirteenth, and fourteenth at the Cradle of Aviation in on Long Island, right across from the Nassau Coliseum. Actually, mm-hmm. is the Long Island Retro Gaming Expo back after two years. Uh, right, two years, 20, 21, 23 years, whatever the math is. Yeah. But it's coming back. Retro Gamers will be there. We're going to do a live podcast uh, from our booth. We're not in a room or anything. Don't worry about it. Yeah. But <laughs> we're going to do a live podcast. Um, and it's just going to be a great time. Get your tickets, liretro.com. We are sponsoring the Tetris tournament. Yes, so if are. you're going to go, enter the Tetris tournament. Yes. Uh, and of course, he's going to have arcades, games, vendors. So I might be picking up a lot of stuff because there's actually a vendor was just announced. Um, a I don't want to get their name wrong on have in front of me, but they do a lot of new uh, Dreamcast games. 
Ooh, okay. So yeah, yeah. Actually, they work with. It's like the the American version of the company Pixel Heart, which I've ordered, where I got like the Rainbow Bright game from, and Andros Dunos oh, okay. two and stuff. And I still have games waiting that are on back order. Oh, nice. So um, so yeah, so we'll be we'll be there um in some way, shape, or form. But get your tickets, liretro.com. And with that, it. We'll wrap it up. Where can they find us? Uh, you guys can find us on Facebook.com slash Retro Gamers Podcast, on Instagram at Retro Gamers Podcast, on Twitter at Retro Gamers Pod. You can listen to us wherever you listen to podcasts. You can watch us on YouTube and you can email us at email at the Retro Gamers.com. Yes. And with that, Ant, have a week. Uh, have a week. Uh, what yes. is that? Have a week. Uh, have Kevin a Smith week. used to end his uh, podcast like that. Oh, okay. Have a well, week. Let, well, let's, let's not copy people. Have a. Hey. Have a have a very good week, Larry. I got my tickets to Clark's 3 already. And oh folks, boy. we will catch you everywhere next week on the Retro Gamers Podcast. We're not even supposed to be here today.